or with the blog method okay in order to construct an ellipse the same question we shall consider as the previous one with major axis is equal to 150 mm and minor axis as 100 mm so according to the oblong method let us take find taking 15 mm 150 mm that is 15 centimeters I am taking the center at 7.5 as done before now let us take 5 centimeters upwards and 5 centimeters down okay now what we shall do is that we need to construct a rectangle same as below Finally, we formed a rectangle. Okay, so what is the next process? Generally, in geometry, we have, we do have the two coordinates. Sorry, two lines. One is the x-axis, and the other one is the y-axis. Here, this is going to be the center, and the points are going to be one, two, three, and so on. One, two, three, and so on. And here we are going to have minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So if this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis, we are going to have the center and the points in this manner. In the same manner, if we consider this as x-axis and this one as y-axis, and this is going to be our center, let us consider this as a center. Okay. Here we need to divide the half of the major axis. This is a complete major axis. So this is going to be half of the major axis part. And this is our minor axis, minor axis length. Okay, so we need to, this is our x axis and now this is our y axis. We need to divide the x axis and the y axis into equal number of parts. We need to divide this part and the, this part into equal number of parts and the number of points on x axis should be equal to the number of points on the y axis. So I will tell you the easiest method to divide things into equal number of parts. So what am I going to do is that I wanted to get uh, uh, four, uh, three points over here. That is, I wanted to divide this x-axis and y-axis into four, point, four parts. So, four parts in the sense, sorry, three parts in the four parts in the sense. I need uh, three points. So, for three points, so four parts as it is for four parts. So, keep it at four. I am keeping the division at four. Center. Now, I am going to mark at uh, three, two, one, zero, five. 6, 7 and 8. So I have kept equal points okay, by keeping at 4 and I got the equal divisions. Now what we shall do is that the last point has to be touched, okay, has to be marked to the last and last corner over here. Okay, so now if you have a drafter, fix the drafter for the this point to the last corner. After fixing the drafter, slowly move the scale or the drafter to get the first point on y axis and slowly move the next one and finally to the last one so here you got equal number of divisions that is three points in the same manner this is the last division join this to this part okay now fix the drafter or the scale and parallelly move to the next point so that you can get the first point on this one and second point and finally our third point so finally we got the three points uh, on y axis and three points on x axis as we did one two three namings one two three namings in this manner so this is center zero one two three these are the parts and this is going to be one and this is going to be two and this is going to be three so these are the divisions we did so far now we have this as the minor axis end and this is the another minor axis end. Now we have to join the points on the y axis to the nearest minor axis end. So to this y axis the nearest minor axis end is this one. 
so join the y axis point to the minor axis end so let us take from 1 to the minor axis end is 1 let us join these parts Now move to the other end of the minor axis point. So minor axis end is other end is this one. Now join the now draw lines joining the x axis points and touching the line number 1. And in the same manner with line passing through the point 2 and extend it touching to the line number 2. And in a similar manner point number 3 touching the line number 3. So this is how we got the required points point number 1 P1, point number 2 P2, point number 3 P3. So we can finally get the curve by joining these points. So join all these points with free hand. See guys, we got one fourth of the curve. In the same manner, okay, we have to perform the same steps in block block 3 and block 4 okay so here we are going to consider this one as the y axis and this is going to be our x axis okay so we need to divide this so this is going to be center 1 2 3 1 2 3 divide these parts and then this is going to be y axis the nearest end to the y axis is this is the minor axis end point now join these two point join these points to the y axis now go to the other end of the minor axis this one join the x axis point and extend them join the x-axis point and extend them to the respective lines ok so this is a long procedure so better we shall go to a shortcut method where we can uh, do things very fast so what am I going to do is that ok fix the drafter or the scale to the exact to the major axis perfect ok perfectly then move to one point of the other point so this is the first one extend the lines come to the next one so what we need to do is that measure these distances okay distance from the point to the minor axis and name the same distance over here and in the same manner measure this distance and mention the curve and measure this distance ok and finally cut the point so finally we got all the required points over here so we can draw the curve with free hand ok so let us extend the same procedure even for the next one now keep the draft or the scale fixed to the minor axis and minor axis and let us move forward and drop this one drop these lines downwards ok now we shall measure these distances So we got the points over here too and in the same manner we shall drop these points downwards. And measure this distance. So finally we got all the required points guys. So let us join them with free hand. So finally we are done with the construction of the ellipse by using oblong method.